Greetings, everyone. It is Ryder, and today the Lord wanted me to come on and share a bit of my testimonial as well as talk about the plan that the enemy, the devil, had originally had for my life and how God was able to break me out of that. So I just want to get right into this, um, and I'll expound a bit more upon it as I continue talking, but the enemy, the devil's plan, which the Lord had revealed to me recently, his plan originally was to use me as a false messiah, like a false Christ. And I'll get into that in a minute. So for, I'd say maybe about a year, I, I forget the exact timing, but for about like a year or so, or maybe a little less, I was under the delusion that I was the reincarnation of Jesus Christ. You know, it was after God had, like, show me some things and visions and stuff, and I didn't really understand what I was seeing. The biggest thing was, like, I had asked God on Easter one year, I think back in 2021, what happened on that day, and the Lord had shown me in a vision, you know, when I saw it from the perspective of Jesus, you know, like him on the cross, and him dying, and I could see just from the perspective of Jesus, like, through his eyes, like, he saw, like, you know, the sky opening, like, heaven being, like, opened for everybody because Jesus had made a way by the shedding of his blood for the remission of our sins that, you know, all who repent and accept him as Lord and Savior could be saved and go to heaven, you know. But I thought at the time, instead of asking God, like, what this meant, you know, like, I fell into this delusion. I thought that I was seeing it through, like, my eyes, like, in a past life, you know, because at the time I still believed that reincarnation was a thing, which I know now isn't true. I think it's in the book of Hebrews. It says that it's appointed unto man to die once and then face judgment. So, like, uh, but I didn't know that at the time. I thought that reincarnation was a thing, so I thought that I was, you know, Jesus in my past life. And... You know, so I thought, you know, well, if I'm here and if I know this, then I must be like the second coming of Christ. Um, and, you know, it, it was just like I was under this delusion for like a while, but I didn't really tell anybody. You know, I just kind of like would make some comments here and there to kind of like suggest it, but I never flat out said it because I didn't feel like it was the right time to share that. Um, and I remember that, you know, because I used to be a drag performer as well, some of the outfits that I would wear, they were kind of like blasphemous and they were, you know, I thought what I was doing was fine at the time, you know, because of the delusion that I was under, but, you know, some of the things that I was wearing were like blasphemous and offensive to, you know, to God. You know, there was one like outfit that I wore and... You know, I was wearing like, you know, like, like a leather, like kilt and like, like a button down shirt, but underneath it, I had like a BDSM harness and I had like upside down crosses, like where my parts were like all over the chest binder that I was wearing. And, you know, I had a necklace with an upside down cross and I was wearing a crown of thorns and it was, it was a lot. Um, and I remember wearing that to one, like, uh, LGBTQ pride, like, festival thing that I went to back in 2021, and it was the last time I ever went to one of those events, and I, I think I had at least, like, one or two people, like, calling me Jesus, like, at that event, you know, and, um, I didn't bother to correct them at the time, um, and, you know, there were other things too, you know, but like, I realized like there was one time and it was back in like 2020 when God had first started revealing himself to me. I remember that I had seen like this creature and one night and it actually looked like Bill Cipher from Gravity Falls, you know, like the, the weird triangle guy um, who was a demon. And I'm thankful that God made this creature to me look like something that was like evil because I remember that it was trying to offer me a deal one night, you know, it was trying to offer me this deal and I didn't get like the details of it and stuff, but I just knew like in the spirit that if I were to shake this creature's hand that I would get 
the things that I wanted in that moment, things like fame and money and stuff like that. And I realized now if I were to have, and, and like, I was actually about to shake this thing's hand, but then I was like, no, I can't sell my soul. Like, this is wrong. You know? So it's like my hand was like right there, like right about to like grab and shake, but I, I didn't. And then I think it like went away and was like angry. Um, but I realized now that if I had went through with that, you know, that likely the drag competition I had entered, I would have gotten in at the time, you know, I probably would have like earned a lot of money and been able to pay off my student debts and all of that. But like, you know, and gotten like that fame and recognition and all of that. But I also know that, you know, I would have been under the control of the enemy and that, you know, the enemy wanted to use me as a false Christ and a false messiah. Likely if I had shaken that demon's hand that night, you know, there would have been more and more people that would have started like calling me Jesus and listening to whatever I said just because of how I was dressed and the things I was talking about because at the time you know I believe those like false teachings that's like oh yeah well God loves you and you can keep sinning and it's fine you know people love to hear that these days you know it's a false doctrine that appeases people's itching ears you know so I know people would have flocked and stuff and that was what the enemy wanted to do with my life and I had asked God before, you know, because I've heard testimonials of people that have died and went to hell and, you know, and like a near death experience. And it seems like a lot of the times the way that people are punished, it's like they die as they live. So I asked the Lord what my punishment would have been. And I realized that the enemy, you know, when I died was going to have me in some sort of like torture cell, like in hell, you know, if that's where I was going to go, that they, the, that there would have been demons in there, like, beating me and mocking me and making fun of me, like, you know, as someone that believed that they were the Messiah. And that, you know, also as someone that has been through, like, sexual trauma as a child, you know, they, the demons also were going to, like, sexually abuse me in a very horrific way and I don't want to get into that because it's too graphic and I know the Lord doesn't want me to share that you know but seeing that I'm like I'm so thankful that you know I didn't shake that demon's hand that night I'm really thankful that things didn't go the way that I had originally planned and you know eventually God was able to break me out of that delusion that I had when I realized that you know Christ came to this earth and never sinned and I realized all the sins that I've done I'm like there's no way that doesn't make any sense you know that was the thing that helped break me out of that delusion, but it took a bit of time, you know, and I was still under that delusion. Actually, when I first started going to the church, it took a couple of months until I was saved and the Lord broke me out of that delusion, you know, and I'm just sharing this. I know that the Lord just wants me to share this. Um, I don't know exactly why, but he just put it on my heart to share it today. And I'm just really, really thankful for God's love and kindness and mercy that he's had towards me. You know, I was mocking God. I was blaspheming. You know, I thought that, you know, I was the second coming of Christ and God could have just struck me down and killed me right away, but he didn't. He was so patient and loving and merciful with me. And I'm forever forever thankful for that and how he's been able to change and transform my life and just as someone who has received so much of his grace and so much of his mercy and so much of his love even though I don't deserve it I'm just eternally thankful for it and I would just you know urge you you know if you're saved to just remember how loving and kind and merciful God is and if you're not saved I would urge you to repent and accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior there's nothing so wrong that you've done that God won't forgive you if you turn to him with a contrite and repentive spirit you know just turn to him repent of your sins, ask for his forgiveness, and accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, believing that he has died on the cross to pay the price for all of our sins, that he was placed in a tomb, rose from the dead on the third day, is now seated at the right hand of the Father, crowned in glory and majesty. 
With all that being said, I hope that this was helpful. For now, take care, stay safe, have a wonderful rest of the day, and know that Jesus loves you, and I love you too.